Good evening, I hope you're well. I just wanted to share this moment with you. Really exciting things happening here. Let me spin the camera around. Yes, so satellite has arrived, satellite internet. Um, the Starlink, I've been waiting for this for months and months and months. So we moved into this house in 2006 and we had a painful 1.5 meg of internet and we kind of staggered along with it and over the years it's gradually increased gradually and until it's sort of settled at around between three and a half and five meg actually never five meg four and a half maybe um and so we've tried all sorts of ways of speeding up the internet connection we've got no signal of any type out here so 4g is completely out of the picture unless i go up to the top of the hill with my laptop which i did do once during lockdown and i can get about 25 meg up there but down here can't even get radio there's no signal no phone signal nothing but then of course elon musk announced with it for you, through his spacex program the starlink satellite system which apparently has low enough latency to allow video calls and that kind of thing to happen without the kind of uh, one or two second delay that you get with normal satellite connections. So I ordered back in back in the summer, I think, I stuck myself on the waiting list. And today this box has arrived. So we're gonna open it now and see what's inside. Okay, I hope you can see this. So let's cut this here. While the cat's come up to take a look as well. So, I have to bring this over, I think. So, what have we got? No, it's not quite Apple, but it's quite, it's quite nice. Okay, a bit of plastic. Plastic off. Okay, so we've got a kind of a tripod. strategically placed a bit of protection and this is the satellite dish so the first generation was round this this generation is rectangle looks quite cool it's quite weighty a little bit nervous about attaching it to the roof but we'll see what happens what else do we have Sweet little instruction manual. Not going to take long to um, read that. Now we have the router. It's quite a cool looking router actually, I must say. It's got a bit of style to it. I'll pop this down. You've got 75 foot of cable underneath it. So I'm either going to plug this in outside and um, see what happens or wait until the morning and do it in the light. Good morning. It was too dark and wet and miserable to do anything out here last night. So as you can see, it's pretty clear, especially clearer than it has been. A bit windy. I hope you can hear me okay. Um, and I've got the, the box here. Um, so temporary solution eventually it's gonna go do this it's gonna go up up there on the roof um, where the other satellite dish is maybe the other side um, but for now we'll just pop it up hit pop it um, I can make this down here on the garden on the on the garden lounger okay let's do this Seems decent. Don't know which way it needs to point, but I'm sure that'll become clear. So I'll put this on the shelf, and I reckon that in that window there, I'll just crack the window open a tiny bit and run the router onto the the window sill, and that'll be a quick way of doing it. So back in a moment okay so I plugged the router in and um, as you can see a few seconds later the satellite has turned itself and 
I'm pointing this properly. It's point, turned itself to point upwards to the stars. So it's got itself a fix on the satellite above, which is a good sign. Um, so in theory now, all I need to do is fire up the app and, um, and well, set it up, which should, should only take a minute or so. So um, let's go inside, it's a bit blowy out here and I'll have to switch cameras. Now, before we do this, I think we should test what we've got at the moment, right? 4.5, that's, that's what we generally settle on, okay? So hopefully we'll see, yes, we've got a Starlink available there. So let's connect to the network. Um, just put in a password, look away. Network Skynet is created. Now reconnect your network using your new network name and password, okay? Okay, connecting. Okay, we're connected. So in theory now we have super fast internet. Now, I know that when you first set up, the internet is much slower than it would be. So this will be a first test and we'll do another one in half an hour or so. But let's find out if I go back to speed test. Finding provider, it's found SpaceX Starlink, this is a good sign. Hit go, what we got? Damn, that's a big number, what's that? 330, 336. Okay, 335, I was not expecting that kind of speed download. Oh my goodness, 335 meg. The ping is 22 milliseconds. The ping was what I was worried about because that's your latency. Um, I think previously it was 29, so that's faster too. Upload is 19.7. We have liftoff, okay. I am super excited about that. Um, 335 meg. So I reckon we'll be sticking with Starlink for the time being. Our other options were run a fiber connection all the way out there to the network about four miles, which uh, BT quoted 60,000 pounds for a, a dedicated fiber line. EE offered to put an external 4G antenna on our roof, but we're surrounded by hills and trees. We didn't reckon we'd do it unless you had like a 30 meter pole, which wasn't gonna happen. So finally, Starlink, you have delivered. Um, so if you're out in the countryside, in the UK and in the US, uh, Starlink looks like it's definitely going to be a, a good option for finally having decent internet for you. Okay, seeing as we can now, I'm going to do a video test. Because the video test on the older network when I tried it, um, said that the video was suitable for a 240p display, like mobile phones only. So you can see here the video display, I don't know if you've done this test before. What does it reckon? Uh, it's testing 4K. Yep, 2160, so 4K video now. Okay, so that's 10 times better video resolution. We're in, okay, I'd better get to work.